Nobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking, so. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Perfecto. Let's start the show. Let's do it. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one up mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. <laughs> uh, awesome. Silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? No. Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. That's definitely Not Jesus bad Christ. Being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Oh, well, let's go. Guys! Focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking... Hold on. The Flowers of Silence, a biography of Hanako Arasaka. If you had written this biography on the basis of public availab available material, there would be two sides to the story, not to mention the foreword, afterward, and the acknowledgements. Everyone knows Hanako Arasaka is every private is every private individual everyone has heard about this about the tragic death of the last reporter who attempted to pen her life's story 10 shots to the back suicide according to the police wait to the back and it's a suicide that's strange that's why when the publisher asked where me to write this book i had to politely decline then when i saw the advanced the advance they were offering me, I started to reconsider. And finally, when I discovered that Arasaka's PR department had given its stamp of approval to interview numerous members of Hanako's and, and entourage, it was on the next flight to Tokyo. Soon enough, however, I lost my original enthusiasm. enthusiasm. The people Arasaka sent me to be interviewed repeated the same answers to all questions, clearly memorized by heart. After the month's worth of research, all I had was Hanako's Hanako Arasaka is the daughter of so Saburo Arasaka from his third wife, Michiko. She was born in 1999 in Tokyo and has only left the city five times in her life. Living a cloistered lifestyle, she never fulfilled any important role in the family business. She is very close to Yorinobu Arasaka, the black sheep of the family. I was ready to give up when the archives of the local TV station I found a recording of the opening of an Arasaka branch in Fukuoka. Graced by the presence of none other than Han Hanako herself, she played the piano. The Debussy's reverie. What? What that? Why that piece? Why play a dreamy, introspective song while surrounding surrounded by stoic Japanese businessmen? Her golden fingers caressed the keys. I was mesmerized. Tears rolled down my cheeks as I listened. That's when I knew I had to finish this book. I had to meet the enigmatic woman and find out who Hanako Arasaka really was. Damn. Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have it back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch.
been ejected. Come here, V. There we go. Not now. Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. Uh -oh. We got winged visitors. Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. Nope. How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Free. Let me look. Get it, huh? get it, get it, get it. Come on. Relic intact? Bio shard integrity, 100%. Guess that that's a yes. Good, let's go. Fuck, too late. Your nobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. You fucking kidding? No, inside it now. We're in. You don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Oh shit. Man, I, even I am here, uh, being like, what are you going to do? Oh, fuck. Shhh. <laughs> Damn. We are some lucky asses here. Close. Too close. If he'd have sniffed us out. But he didn't. No guy at the Well, he goes. Unfucking believable. Saburo Arasaka.私が傷がないとでも思ったのか。ね、ウェル。出る杭を打たれると欲求だろう。自分の言葉じゃ何も言えないのか。貴様こそ自分が何をしようとしたかわかっているのか。私たちの功績を野蛮人に渡すなと。私たちの未来を。俺たちの未来。俺たちの未来
stolen the heart of his great your mother didn't live to see this. The heart of the great Kokoro Okay, this is something I didn't see coming. Jeez, is he gonna be held responsible? Oh, you motherfucker. And now he's the head. Oh, Jesus Christ. And now the whole thing is in code red. Now we can go anywhere. To be honest, I would perf be perfectly fine just staying here and doing nothing. What the fuck just happened in there? Yorinobu just offed Suburo. What? His own fucking pops. You know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Where is Yorinobu? I don't... I don't know. I've lost cam links. Whole building's being put on lockdown. Okay, got something. Window, now! Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder... Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 not now! I've been made! Fuck! Pinche Dios Santo Bendito! Just lost T! Fuck! Fucking major leaps. Happy now, Jackie. Jackie. Look down. Uh, this is the meme Get from uh, from Shrek. That's fucking high. This is the meme from Shrek. Shit. Not looking down. That trauma. I'm looking down. I'm looking down. They're here for Saburo. They're a little late. Oh, this is not our thing. Vicky, Kapeki's all 
over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Crowd case is damaged. Biochip's integrity and... Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. That doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk we'll lose it. Well, someone's gotta do it. Well, I'm still in good health, probably, so... Padre, el Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie, you okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Hell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We're gonna somehow Wells. reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. Now we best be quick. <sighs> oh, what I see. Whoa. Great. Now let's get out of here. I guess that's a good idea. Attention. Code red has been initiated throughout Kentucky Plaza. Clear. Please remain in your Understood. room. Understood. Over now. All clear here, too. I ain't got time for this. This was a drill. Why'd they send in Saga Special down. Forces? Take them out quiet. Special Forces. In the lobby now. We're gonna sweep the building. All floors. I know. Well, hold on. Uh, yokai, Japanese demons of yesterday and today. They make their homes mountaintops, in rivers and oceans, in city streets, and even and on every mega building floor with a number four in it. Even in your washing machines or in info visor. Some appear in concrete concrete places, while certain. Well, they simply haunt a specific person. They are, they're there when you, when you hear strange noises, so hear a strange noise in the middle of a desert. They're there when you feel like someone's watching you, although there's not a soul inside. They are there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to notice but you, where, but you were just at the rip, ripper docks from the for, uh, for your chep, uh, for your checkup. God. I can't talk English anymore. <laughs> the yokai first appears in Jap Jap appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. These mysterious beings, thought closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead, haven't been alive, have been alive in the Japanese consciousness for the very birth of the an animism. It's not that in that the Japanese believe in the jo in the yokai. They simply know the yokai exist. 
In addition to phantoms, ogres, and other mysterious phenomena, the yokai also include a group of shape-shifting demons called obake, or bakemono. The bakemono are said to sometimes take the form of faceless person, a one-eyed scarecrow, or an animal. It's said that when the cat reaches a certain age, when a cat reaches a certain age, it becomes a bakeneko. These yokai are able to walk on their own on their two hind legs, speak and dance, assume human form or even devour their owners and take their place. The bakeneko sometimes visit people in their sleep or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring the su bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much much more. One should ex exercise extreme caution around a double-tailed cat. This is a nekomata, a yokai with a sh shamanic and necromantic capabilities, able to place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, Nekomata resembles an old woman, often an addic addicted to some substance or other, other and with an eerie, disturbing air about her. However, let me assure American readers of this book today, the most likely place you'll find a baka, baka nickel. <coughs> Uh, Bakeneko is the form of lucky Maneki Neko figurines. After all, real cats are even rarer sight these days than your your average yokai. Okay, interesting. That was an interesting story. I love Japanese folklore. If there's anyone out there who uh, who's Japanese or uh, can tell me lots more about Japanese folklore, please do, because I love it. I really do. Attention! Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your room and follow all <laughs> instructions given by staff. This way! Did you check the Zen rooms? Yes, all clear. Nothing strange out of the ordinary. Well, the ghost will tear us damage. Then take another look. Okay, so the other guys over there. He's there. What's he gonna do? He's looking that way. Ah, oh, shit, there's a camera over there. Turn. Turn off. Turn off deactivation. Distract enemies. Manipulate basic device functions, such as an opening, closing door, or an activating. one okay is there another one let's get this guy out of there Wait. attention code red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff there we go got a nice Nice perk available. And uh, let's go to stealth. Or let's see. Reflexes. What was intelligence cool? Stealth level 3. Leg up. Movement speed after successful takedown is increased. Uh, allows you to perform non lethal aerial takedowns and unaware targets. Increased damage dealt and silent by science weapons while sneaking. Deal 15% more damage to human enemies. Increase the critical chance by 15% of sneaking. Increase movement speed while sneaking. Let's do this one. I like sneaking. Okay, so now let's keep going. Let's see. Gun. Anything. There are some security thing over here. Take 
this guy out. Let's move him out of the way. I don't wanna I don't know what's going to happen, so Uh, yeah! Holy shit! Uh, that was something else. Okay, I can't go. Oh. I didn't know they were coming. Jeez. Are these guys going somewhere? Or? Um. Okay, I'm gonna try something and I hope that it will work. Oh, this is weird. See that one coming. Um, I don't see any security cam, so I guess that this will probably oh, work. Don't look bad. Just a little further. <laughs> Whoa, was that blood that I saw? Chrome and blood. The four, the fourth corporate war. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. I want I want to know about that. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed f of the fourth corporate war began first as a simple rivalry rivalry between two ocean exploitant exploitations corporations, Sino and Otec. Both companies fight for the control stake of the failing IHA. Corporation OTEC commissioned Militech to secure the business interest and perform certain special operations. Sino in turn signed a corporate corporation agreement with Arasaka Co Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossals, colossal and rightful security corporations to clash in open combat, the fourth war had officially begun. Yet as the of yet as is usually the case with corporate conflicts the onset provides a subtle arasaka disable onset provide proved subtle arasaka disabled the militech transport militech allegedly eliminated eliminates, eliminates a rankina official a ranking i should scroll down a ranking official for the Arasaka client, both sides engage in a frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow confusion, gather intel and cause chaos in the stock market. Though none of the none would have thought it possible in those early months of early months the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy, making a threat of complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict the conflict's pace, however. Uh, the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and OTEC had uh, unliterately reached a settlement and reached an understanding through peace talks, tensions between Osaka and Militech continued to rise. The separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. 
Arasaka and Metatech Netrunner, Netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they, crea they created lethal ICE measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in the dark in the dark corners of the net for long periods to make strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of the of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war began. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare fought with the cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the, wor in, the wor uh, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the Coupe de Grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries denoted a nuclear device at Ar Arasaka's Night City headquarters. Shortly after the blast, blowing under, bowing under increased pressure of the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but mo most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech. But it came at a heavy cost. Holy shit, that's uh, a badass war. Go. Yeah. Surrender immediately! Oh no, please don't, please don't. Oh, whew. Attention, Code Red has Careful. been initiated in throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. Hmm. He's a terrorist, stay vigilant. Wait, how? Target nearby. Careful. He's in here somewhere. Come on, quick. California After Dusk, The Life of Richard Knight. Richard Knight was a pessimist, even in, its, in the late 80s, when the economy seemed headed to for an endless growth and the nuclear threat for the ash heap of history. Knight, Knight, saw, uh, Knight saw the United States as hurling towards a collapse. Right, Richard Knight was, the op was an optimist. He deeply believed the world could be changed for the better and that he was the one to do it. Richard Knight was a realist, aware he couldn't change the, fa the face of the world all at once. He decided to start small, for him at least, by constructing the ideal city. His utopian metropolis was called Coro Coronado City. Ooh. Uh, it would stand as a metro metaphorical city on a hill, a shining example to the rest of the world. Richard Knight was doomed to fail, not because his vision was inherently impossible to realize, but because many important powerful people wished, it to, wished to make it so. Richard Knight was murdered. The city was founded. He lay, uh, the city whose foundations has, he laid was finished after his death, but his utopian dream soon became a dystopian nightmare. Even the original name was lost. In honor of the city, city's tragical deceit, in honor of the city's tragical deceased founder, Coronada Coronado City was rechristened Night City. Ironically, the name fits. If anything, the city is a cat sleeping during the day. It comes frantically alive at night, and even loves to toy with its prey. Damn. 
great lore. Really great. Attention. Code red has been initiated throughout More reading. Please remain and follow all instructions given. Arasaka and ornithology. Three Japanese words to know. Ooh, I like Japanese. Did I say that? Arasaka and ornithology, three Japanese words to know. As conversations over factionalism within Arasaka heat up, many industries, industry insiders wonder about the company's future tra 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 trajectory. Damn. You can hear that I'm not native English. <laughs> if you struggle to understand the complicated inner mechan machinations uh, of the... Machinations? Is that something? Machinations? Machinations? Of the world's largest arms factory uh, manufacturer, look no further than the obscure science of ornithology. Yes, that's right. The study of birds can help, at least in a sense. There are three Japanese words every corporation corporate player ought to be familiar with: kiji, hato, and taka. Kiji, green pheasant. This bird has long held cultural and symbolic significance in Japan. One can admire the world's last living specimen at Hanako Arasaka's private preserve on the island of Shiko Shikoku. But the word Kiji also bears meaning along the, fic the factional identities with Ara within Arasaka. This group, with Hanako at its center, consists primarily of conservative technocrats who wish to follow the course set by Soburo, Soburo Oros Arasaka, uh, Arasaka himself. And his daughter Hanako, they see in guided, guiding force to maintain the old order and stability within the corporation. Hato, dove. The symbolism of the dove is recognized far and wide. The symbol also aptly captures the character of the much smaller factions within the company led by Michiko Arasaka, daughter of, late, of the late K and niece to Hanako. This liberal wing of, corporation, of the corporation has unified those who seek deeper deeper reforms although they currently ha hold little influence they enjoy growing support popularity support popularity among some politicians and media personalities taka hawk as symbolic as the dove is so too is the hawk this faction headed by yorinobu yarasaka often prefers to take the most direct and uncompromising solutions both stubborn and temperamental he resembles Saburo, which, which has given him wide support among more militant-minded Arasaka Corp elite. However, he's more pro-Western inclinations and ideas that are innovative as they are controversial have weakened the support from the board's loyal traditionalists. You can learn more about Arasaka's family genealogy from the eight book series Two Centuries of the Clover Shadows, available in stores soon. That guy? The more? I think there isn't, isn't any other. There we go. Oh shit. I thought it was for me. Uh, okay. Oh shit. Okay, that one's off. Just to get through here. It's good. There's the elevator. Shut down. What about the other one? Want to run into anything? See if the new item. Ah, oh, shit. Let me go around it. Wait. Hold on. I want to test this out. Is this really something I can do? Seriously? 
action block now, probably because I'm gonna right in the middle of the mission. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. You can just I can only show. Oh shit. Okay, so. Okay, so I need to distract this guy. Just don't know where. Oh. They can spot you. How? Oh wait, I think I think I see what I can do. Ooh, it was close. I've got this. Not really anything I can do here. This is gonna. Oh, okay. I will personally find you. Oh shit! Yeah, can wait that one. Okay, so that guy is coming back. From I could distract him. Oh shit! The other one is coming back. So I can short circuit, circuit, circuit him. But no, I want to distract him, but I, I don't think I can. Can? Can I distract him? Yes, I can. Pretty cool. Will he go there? Yeah. Oh, I hope I can make it. Shit! 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 Where are you? Take him! Take him! Take him! Neutralize him! Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> Wait, die. Ah, uh, why don't I have any guns? Uh, come on. I need to equip my gun. I need to equip a gun. Uh, which one's the best? I'm probably gonna just do this one. Quick, put that on. Oh, I have. A, oh, I had a silencer. Nice. I could. <laughs> I could have just <laughs> shoot these guys. Oh well. Oh, 
shit. Ow. why I need to kill him. So this was going to be a shootout anyway. Oh, okay. Um, actually, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, thought I could just put on some new armor, but seems I can. Um, <clears throat> okay, my requirements isn't good enough. Uh, that's no wonder. Oh, hello. Move, you idiot. Okay, wait, you have more? Uh, let's just read for a bit. <laughs> uh, Compeki Plaza, Luxury Beauty. Oh, wait, I think I read this one already. Yep, I read this one already. Gonna take more than that. Okay. So, where are these guys? Conquest. What? Good old <laughs> all all the good producers like Cyberpunk, right? <clears throat> today. So far, so uh, so so many times in games like this, I try to overthink things. And I just blast in there, think I have to do all kinds of stuff, and I don't. Why? Because you fucking say so? Don't take this. Go! Out on me. Chips are falling. I don't need my gun, but I think so. <laughs> oh shit!
God, there's much more to read here. Oh shit. Oh. Just remember, this is on hard, it's not medium, so these guys are taking a lot more to kill. that ah shit ah they already know that I'm here so yes. I don't even know what you're talking about to equip something for my grenades. Hold on, wait. Oh shit, I don't have my grenades, of course. Ah, crap. Okay, um, got, got this gun here. I don't need to silence it. damage over there. Oh, She's having a tough time hitting me over <laughs> it's right behind you. Okay. There we go. Legendary. Wait, some something saw me. Nice. Oh, this bar is. Uh, oh, hello. Nice. A mask. Anything else here? Except for a 
a bunch of music. <laughs> Crafting! Nice, new perk. Perk at it. Yeah. Go! Let's fucking go! We're gonna do this. Anybody here? Probably not. Let's take a look. What's this? Vicky Plaza, probably what I read before, yeah. I already read that. Oh, well. Um, how am I gonna get out of here? Distract the enemies. Oh, I need to go there. Whoops. There we go. Don't know what we're gonna do here, but let's do it. Yo, dude, come in. There we go. We're not gonna go to the reception. Or at the reception. Oh, there we go. Parking. I'm making a little. Wait, when did you change outfits? Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. I'll hold out. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? 